I am so, so excited for this, ladies and gents. Hey, everyone, it's Abdallah here, bringing you guys a deep dive into the brand new Animal Crossing free update for winter season. Nintendo just released a brand new trailer. We're gonna go over it live. Shoutouts to all of you guys and the Avengers for helping me find out all of these hidden things within here. We've got lots of hidden details that you may have missed upon your first time watching. So, yes, it's happening. Yes, we predicted the cooking. And oh my gosh, there's, there's just so much here. So, what we're going to do right now is I'm going to show you guys the unedited two-minute little trailer. I'm going to mute my mic. You guys can watch this along with. I've probably watched it a hundred times in order to find all the little secrets. And then we're going to go over it frame by frame, showing you guys everything that you can look forward to and the things that you may have missed. Now, trust me, I threw 15 on the title, but there's way, way more than 15 if you think about it. So, ladies and gents, thanks so much for watching. If you guys didn't already... Hit that subscribe button, you guys need to do so, okay? We got tons of Animal Crossing content. If you guys wanna be a part of the best Animal Crossing content on YouTube, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and join us. Um, so anyway, we've got you covered with a whole bunch of maple leaf items because that's the season that we're currently in right now. A little bit about uh, the truth about maple leaf DIYs, showcasing all of the nine DIY recipes, and of course, mushrooms are still relevant right now. So take a look at that. We got tons more tips and tricks tutorial videos coming at you. So anyway, uh, let's go do this. I will mute my mic and you guys are going to enjoy this and then let's just show me your hype in the chat. All right, let's go. Okay, that was huge. That was absolutely huge. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go frame by frame and show you guys 15 things that you may have missed upon the first time watching it. So thanks so much for being here. Thanks for sharing and uh, yeah, let's do this. Hello. All right, so I'm gonna turn the music down over here. We should be all set. Okay. So here we go, let's take a look at this free update. All right, so this is going to be a winter update. Number one on our list is going to be that the winter update right over here is going to be on the 19th. The exact time is going to be to be announced, but if you guys have your notifications on, you guys know we're gonna go live as soon as the update drops. So, that being said, look forward to it, okay? Now, number two on our list is going to be the fact that Turkey Day is going to be confirmed for right over here, 1126. Now, if you guys have watched my channel, we've shown you guys exactly the evolution of Turkey Day and Harvest Festival, which is what it was called in the previous Animal Crossing games, from Animal Crossing on GameCube, Animal Crossing on um, City Folk, on Nintendo Wii, and then Animal Crossing New 
Leaf on Nintendo 3DS. We've gone through and done that exact same thing on my channel, so go take a look at those videos and see where we've come from. But, as I predicted in those videos, we are going to be doing some cooking with Franklin, exactly like we did in Animal Crossing New Leaf, right over here. So, like, 100%. I'm 100% on that one. I was, I was putting money on it that this is what we're gonna do. In the first two older games, in Animal Crossing on GameCube, all he did was like, dude hid around behind trees and you gave him silverware and then he gave you furniture. So like, that was trash. But like in Animal Crossing New Leaf, you were able to actually give him ingredients and do some cooking. So I don't know how expansive the cooking is going to be. Are we gonna have a new cooking catalog? Are we gonna have recipes? Or is it going to be bare bones like it was in Animal Crossing New Leaf? You guys let me know in the comments what your predictions are. Um, but anyway, in New Leaf, you really just gave him ingredients, and then he made his own thing, and then he gave you a piece of furniture after making the uh, full thing. All right, number three on our list is going to be uh, the amount of ingredients, the different kinds of ingredients that I told you guys. I told you guys to start getting all your ingredients ready. Uh, whether it be mushrooms, anything that's edible, start collecting that stuff now. Go fishing, because if this is an indicator of anything Animal Crossing New Leaf is, you're going to need some fish like red snapper, uh, horse mackerel, etc., etc. So this is confirming that you are going to be using your own ingredients for that. So if you have leftover pumpkins from the pumpkin season, you may want to stock up on some different colored ones, okay? So start trading, start growing right now before this update hits, okay? Got it, good. Yo, that's so awesome. I'm pumped up for it. Anyway, so you can see over here that you give him the things and then he goes, let's get cooking exactly like it was in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Okay, number four on our list is going to be Toy Day. It's going to be December 24th. Obviously not Christmas um, because we want to stay away from any kind of uh, religious national holidays because that's kind of what it is. It's politically correct. And that's what Nintendo has been doing for the entire time here. So, um, I like this a lot. Uh, Toy Day is really cool, so we can see that it's going to be on the 24th of December, which we can look forward to. It'll be there. I don't know if we can actually fast travel to it right off the bat as soon as this update drops. If that's the case, then we're going to have Christmas in November. So, just saying. All right, so that's really cool. <clears throat> now, one of the other things over here that's a new item, uh, number five on our list is going to be that there's a new festive item. Now, yes, if you time travel all the way over to Christmas or the festive season right now, you can get these items. You can get the little small toy day tree or whatever. You can get the big festive tree. You can get these two items. But this over here in the corner, this bad boy is not something that you can get. It seems to be something brand new. I don't know if this is going to be a DIY recipe that we'll get from Nintendo the first day upon the update. I don't know if it's just going to be updated content, but we'll notice over here that this little pile of boxes is going to be a new item uh, as well that I'm really, really excited for. So we'll see it in a blue customization there. And then, of course, we'll see it also in a red customization here. So that is going to be number five. Super, super cute. All right, now, we'll also see uh, right here that we're going to meet Jingle. Now, Jingle is going to be your uh, black nose reindeer character that we've seen in the previous Animal Crossing games. And don't worry, we'll go back in time to Animal Crossing uh, on GameCube, Animal Crossing on, wow, on City Folk, and then we'll also go over to Animal Crossing on, I have all these on my desk, look at this on Animal Crossing on DS. Like, we'll go through all of these games and we'll show you the evolution of Jingle within the next upcoming weeks before Toy Day happens. So look forward to that. So anyway, Jingle's here. But number uh, six on our list is that we have, are going to get two new festive clothing items. And that's going to be right over here. You've got this little festive hat. I don't know if they're gonna call it the Santa hat, but Santa is actually confirmed in the game. Because Sherb's like, oh, something, something Santa, like here. So we have two items. Um, you can see this over here, and it's not the festive dress, as you guys may think it is, in Animal Crossing that we already have. The, the festive dress doesn't have the little belt buckle. So you can see that over here, it's a festive hat, or a Santa hat, or a Santa dress. I don't know what they're going to call it, but these are two confirmed brand new items that are over here. <clears throat> That's really great. And then we'll also see here, for uh, number seven on our list is the Santa bag, right? So the Santa bag is going to be an accessory that your character can potentially go around giving gifts to everyone. So I'm also looking forward to just like completing the entire set, 
right? Getting the Santa hat, the Santa outfit, and then the sling back uh, little Santa bag, which looks really, really cute. So over here, um, we do have uh, some specific gifting. I don't know if this is going to be gift wrap that Timmy and Tommy is going to sell, or if this is just something that Jingle gives you to give to your villagers to pass out the presents. Can't confirm that, so I didn't put it really on my list. So uh, yeah, that, that's kind of interesting. So Jingle's going to make you give out the presents. And then here's the confirmation that Santa's there. I think over time, Santa has been non-denominational. So I think that's okay to kind of slip that in there. Anyway, I digress. That's really cool. So Santa bag number seven. Um, right over here, this one's going to be two uh, items added to Nook Miles. And number eight is going to be the reactions. This one's called the Hip Reaction Collection for 2,700 Nook Miles. Now, this is going to be great because there's nine brand new reactions that we're going to get in the game. And we've seen a lot of the NPC characters or the villagers within the game do all these reactions. So it's really already been programmed in the game. It's just that the devs are now giving it to us. So we're gonna have the ability to just sit down and chill. We're gonna be able to wave goodbye. We'll be able to like take some selfie pictures, which is also really cute. Um, do a little bit of a sniff sniff emote. Do a little workout dance. You could do some yoga. You could do a little here you go. And then you could get excited and say a ta-da as well. Like that's insane. Okay. I'm feeling like a sneeze coming on. Sorry, guys. Um, so that's nine new reactions. Sit down, wave goodbye, take a picture, sniff, sniff, workout, yoga, here you go, excited, and ta-da. So that's great, right? You just buy the package and now you have all these emotes. But <clears throat> there was a lot of things that happened before while they were showing this off that we do have to showcase because you may have missed it. All right, here we go. Number, uh, number nine on our list of things is going to be Tent customization? What? All right, take a look at this. So we can see over here that this is going to be, I don't know if this is a specific item, like a furniture item that you can put on the outside as a piece of decoration, or if this is a customization for a brand new villager. Whereas, hey, I don't wanna leave my tent, but I wanna go to Tom Nook and I wanna customize it, right? So we have no confirmation of that, but the the confirmation that we do have is these pillows are going to be the same throughout, which makes me believe that this might be a big old furniture item that we can just easily throw outside as a decoration. I don't necessarily think that your character is gonna like walk inside it and like have a new home. I don't think that, but it's up to it's up to us to find out once the update comes out. So number nine is like new tent customizations. I don't know what the heck this is, but it looks kind of cool, right? It looks kind of cool. Imagine if you can have like a little tent put up and go inside it and fill it up with furniture. How amazing would that be? All right, anyway, <clears throat> so uh, right over here, we got some yoga stuff. This is a huge, huge thing, okay? So number 10 on our list is going to be the new harvest items. Now, if you guys have seen anything that we've shown you over here in the previous games, which of course we've done that within the last week or so, the harvest items are more along the lines of like some regal purples and some, some interesting colorations on that. Nothing really fall, but we're gonna see over here that this is gonna be hard confirmation that these are the brand new harvest items within the game. Let's take a look at it one at a time. We've got the table setting. So if we've learned anything from the holiday, the Halloween update, the spooky table setting is a thing. So we can see over here that the colorations of orange, a little bit of the, the beige, the florations here, like that is all confirmation that this is a brand new table setting. Got it. All right, <clears throat> the harvest table right over here, you can see that this looks like turkey feathers with a runner. And then you can see like just the woodwork on this table makes me believe that this is going to be a custom harvest table table. So that's a second item that we're talking over here. Our third item in this picture is going to be the harvest little kettle, I'm thinking here, or like harvest crock pot, harvest pot, something like that. So that is also, you can see like the designs of like the flowers, the orange, the beige colorations, that's going to be it there. Um, the harvest buffet, which is going to be like, um, it's either going to be a, bu a buffet or a fireplace. Um, that's going to be exactly what this is in the back over here. I can't really confirm because this lady's in the way. It's either going to be a two by one table or like a two by one little fireplace. I don't really know what it's going to be, but the decorations on top of it really make me believe that the decorations are going to come with it, right? 
Now hear me out on this. The reason why I say this is because if you have a two by one item in Animal Crossing, you can fit three things on it. You can fit it on the left, the right, or the middle. And this looks like all three, but they're overlapping and not really segmenting. So you can say over here like, okay, do you think that like harvest balloons are gonna be a thing? If harvest balloons are gonna be a thing, then why is this candle in its space? So is it like harvest balloons and candle? Uh, if that's the case, then I don't think so. And then, okay, so is that the case with these balloons? If you bring it over to the other side of the table, is there a candle there? Probably not. And then the way that even if you rotated the balloons, those balloons do, don't look right. So I don't think that those are standalone items. And do you think it, there's going to be like a harvest picture frame? I don't think so. I think this is all going to be the table spread on top of it, like we've seen with some bamboo furniture in the game already. Um, other things over here, we do have a fruit basket that's already in the game, but you can see that that's a nod to Animal Crossing New Leaf. It's, an, uh, it's a nod to Animal Crossing City Folk as well, because in City Folk, there was a fruit basket on the table spread that Franklin had. And in New Leaf, Franklin gave you a, 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 a whatever, a little fruit basket. So anyway, um, this little floral swag is not new. This mushroom wreath is not new. This is part of the uh, previous acorn set. And then this kettle is not new at all. So like, that's it. And then you can also think over here that these are going to be the, the chairs too. Looking at that. Um, so you can see over here that the... Yeah, that, that's exa exactly it. Wow, that's so crazy. So this is also the harvest chairs that's going to be with it. And you can see if you pay, take a look right over here that this is kind of like the little seat cushion that also mimics the exact same feather turkey design as the runner here. So like this looks great. So yeah. You've got the table setting, the table, the pot, the buffet slash campfire slash like fireplace, and then you have the chairs. So that's like five things over there. Now also one of the new clothing items for this guy in green hair is going to be a little apron. I don't know if we're going to classify that as a possible harvest apron, but it's something to think about that that's something potentially brand new over there. So very exciting. So that's number 10 on our list. We have five more things that we're really going to talk to you guys about. So really excited for that. Um, let's continue uh, looking at this over here. There's snowmen. We're going to go over there. But number uh, 11 is going to be even more new festive items. Now, we've talked to you guys about the uh, the new festive item being the gift boxes that are red and blue. But there's also one more that's in the game that they show you in this picture here. And that's going to be right here, which is going to be the little stockings that are wall mountable. Now, is this going to be one set of four stockings? I don't think so. I think it's just going to be one stocking and you could customize it to four different colors, potentially, or maybe more. So that looks really cute. You've got a little teddy bear. You've got your generic holiday red stocking. You've got like your green and polka dot one, and you also have your blue one. So look forward to that as something even more for the harvest items. Okay, cool. So uh, number 12 on our list is going to be the six new hairstyles. Now, we'll actually show you every single one of the six ones on board. I really like this because it gives more it gives more inclusion for people that have different hairstyles in the world. And this is great. So the six new hairstyles, uh, we've got the cornrows right over here. Look really sharp. You've got this like short fade. You've got like a fade on the side over here and like some really, really short hair on top. Uh, what else we got? We got buns. So the buns look really cute. Uh, we got the full-on afro. Let me uh, let me control back here. You got the full-on afro. So I love I love that. I love this a lot. Um, you also have a, a, an interesting looking perm here, and then you also have a bald, like a bald cap, or just like your hair is gone. So that's pretty great. You've got six brand new hairstyles to choose from. Let me know in the comments which one you guys are going to be very, very excited for. And are you going to implement any of these? Honestly, um, I like them. I like them a lot. I like the little fade here. I like the short fade, but like my hairstyle mimics this one here. So I don't think I'd ever change mine. But hey, you know what? Maybe if I'm feeling afro one day, I'll slap an afro, dude. I could totally rock an afro. Anyway, um, number 12. Uh, no, no, no. Number 12, we already talked to you guys about, which was the hairstyles. Number 13 uh, is going to be expanding my storage. We're going to go talk to Tom Nook, and we're going to demand storage expansion. But if this comes from Tom Nook, you know it's going to come at a price. 
So I don't know what, what he's going to charge for it. X amount of millions of bells or whatever. But uh, you can see over here that for number 13, your storage expansion, after I got done clearing out my storage, now gets uh, updated to 2,400. So 800 more things. So that's amazing. So really, really cool. Number 14 on our list is going to be save data transfer. Now, if you go to the site, Animal Crossing, um, go to the Animal Crossing New Horizons webpage, they don't have any data on it right now until November 19th. So if you have a Nintendo Switch that you're like, oh my gosh, I wanna move into another Switch or I wanna transfer my save data to like another Switch entirely, they're gonna give you the ability to do so on November 19th. So pretty interesting. I'm not ever gonna use that, but whatever, it's, it's good for other people. And last but not least, uh, number 15 is going to be scheduling for late January Pave uh, and the Mardi Gras little event is going to be happening over there. So yeah, that's it. So that's 15. Now, uh, make sure you guys follow Animal Crossing. Make sure you guys take a look at Animal Crossing on Instagram, all that stuff. Here's the thing, right? There's actually way more than 15 things that I detailed in this video. And we did find out even more juicy updates that are not even in this video entirely that will blow your mind. So a little bit later on, we're gonna give you guys today a video showcasing things that we literally discovered that are that are gonna, your mind is gonna be absolutely blown at these updates that Nintendo of America or Nintendo of Europe did not even tell us about. Trust me, there's a little cliffhanger, something for you guys to look forward to a little bit later. I won't give you guys too many ideas of what it is, but let me tell you that you're gonna love the secret stuff that they did not even share. Oh my, my mind is blown right now. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys do so for the best, latest, and greatest Animal Crossing content on YouTube to date. I'd love to have you guys on board. So uh, right over here on November 19th, 2020 is when we are going to do this update. We are gonna grab the Avengers. We are going to do all the science and figure it all out. It's going to be so, so amazing. And I want you guys on board with it. So turn on your notifications, subscribe. And if this video helped you out with finding all the secret details, hidden details of the um, entire video that you may have missed the first time watching it, do me a favor. If you have a Facebook group that you have some people playing Animal Crossing, share this video with them and get them excited for it too. Or jump on social media, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Share this video if it helped you out. Anyway, that's it for me today. I'm gonna work on the part two, which is all the stuff that is super secret that they didn't even mention, but is actually out there. So I'm so excited to work on that. You guys are amazing. Shout out to the Avengers to, uh, for helping me like knock this all out this morning. Like literally I woke up to this trailer and I'm like, yo, we gotta go. Like Avengers assemble, let's figure this all out. So anyway, you guys are great. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Smash that like button on the way out and uh, hopefully we will, uh, we will see you soon. Let me know what you're most excited for. Take care.